Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name's Bob, I'll be your host. Have you ever wanted to play in a game where you hunt down the supernatural to eliminate them? Be it vampires, werewolves, ghosts, specters, goblins, mummies, whatever. There are lots of different games you can choose from. You can choose the World of Darkness, and you have many different ways you can go with that. You can make up a regular mortal who's a paranormal investigator. You can use the Hunter books, like Hunter the Reckoning or Hunter the Vigil, whichever you prefer. You can use Beyond the Supernatural to run your game, D20 Modern, any number of generic rules, and there are a lot of other horror games that focus on hunting the supernatural. And there are a lot of tools you can use when doing so. You can use a good old-fashioned stake for vampires. You can even use, try and use it on other creatures if you want. But typically you'd use silver bullets for werewolves. And bullets for zombies. And fire pretty much takes care of everything. <laughs> but in this video we're going to focus on fantasy role-playing particularly Dungeons and & Dragons. And the book we're going to look at is Ravenloft, Van Richten's Arsenal, Volume 1. This book has 154 pages and a copyright of 2002. It was published by White Wolf Publishing under their Sword and Sorcery banner. And all of the artwork in this book is in black and white, and it's pretty decent. So let's go ahead and look at that artwork. All of the artwork in this book is in black and white and it's pretty decent artwork as well it does a good job of capturing the Ravenloft feel for this book to use this book what you're going to need is of course a copy of this core rule book and a copy of the Ravenloft campaign setting you also need copies of the three core rule books for Dungeons & Dragons either third edition or 3.5 which are the Player's Handbook, the Dungeon Master's Guide, and the Monster Manual. You'll also need a full set of dice. A full set of dice containing a 20-sided die, a 12-sided die, preferably two 10-sided dice for rolling both percentiles and tens, an 8-sided die, a 6-sided die, and a 4-sided die. This book is pretty neat. It goes into detail about hunting in the Ravenloft setting, particularly supernatural creatures. And to do that, it gives you a lot of tools to do that. It gives you brand new equipment that you can use in your Ravenloft game, which is always neat. Weapons, new armor, new mundane items that can be useful in your hunting. It also has brand new magic weapons and brand new artifacts that you can adapt into your Ravenloft game, that would be helpful. You also have brand new spells that this book provides to help you in hunting and eliminating different supernatural threats, which is pretty cool. You also have alchemical formulas, and these alchemical formulas can be learned by anybody provided they meet the prerequisites and you take them as a general feat when you have a feat available. If you meet the prerequisite, you can make the whatever the formula is for at any time, provided you have the time and the resources. So that's pretty cool. It also gets into detail giving you tips and tricks for the trade and how to gain information and learn about different goings on, who you can talk to. It gives you more information on the different types of creatures you can hunt, such as vampires and werewolves and ghosts and hags and whatnot, and gives you a lot more information on how to track them, how to restrain them, how to kill them, how to deal with them, and what will work, what will not work, which is very neat. And it also gives you a bunch of new prestige classes that you can add to your game for the purpose of hunting. These new prestige classes are the Alchemical Philosopher, the Ankuric of the Mist, the Avenger, 
the Crypt Raider, the Dirgis, the Guardian Seekers, the Hallowed Witch, the Knight of the Shadows, the Pistolier, and the Stygian Attendant. Those are all pretty neat. In the very back of the book, it gives you some notable personalities in Ravenloft that you can run into and that can help or hinder you, depending on how your Game Master wishes to run it. And that's about it. It just gives you a bunch of neat information on hunting the supernatural and brand new tools that you can use for doing so, which is pretty cool. Which brings me to three questions. Would I play a character using the information from this book? And I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to say yes. I like horror, so this would be good in Ravenloft. Would I use this book in a game I run? And I'm gonna say absolutely, and I have. I haven't done much with Ravenloft. I think I've run it twice, and both times were in the third edition. And I've used this book along with my campaign. So, yeah, I'd use it. Would I recommend this book? This book really isn't needed to run the Ravenloft campaign setting, but if you're going to run the campaign in 3rd edition, I would recommend that you get this book for the simple fact that it adds so much more to the world, to the realm of Ravenloft. And that's always a bonus. Thank you for joining me at a look at this book, and hopefully you'll join me next time where we'll talk about something else. Bye.